What are you trying to make me condemn? Bad behaviour? I, am I condemn bad behaviour all you, over. So you condemn Abu Bakr, Osman, Uthman and Ali for invading lands that were not their own? Why did they invade them? They invaded them because they saw it as their divine, God-given mission to bring Islam to the world. When you see a Bangladeshi who lives in a country drenched in rain, yeah. wearing a niqab that yeah. is connected to the deserts of the Middle East and keeping sand out of your face, yeah. you're telling me that's not Arabization. Okay, you're trying to say because they dress modestly, it's an Arab thing, it's Islamic. Right, but what I'm saying to you is that... If it's come, if it's no, come no, from no, an Ar on, Arab time... From exactly. That, so if it's come from there, it's yep. going to be of that. Thank you very much. Why can't I correct Hold you? on, ching, 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 ching. Bob is incorrect. Yes, I've got to correct myself. Bob, Yeah, yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Uh. So, so in, in oh, terms of I won. I would say I would agree with you. It's man-made. Definitely, it's man-made. But but it's man-made because Muhammad failed. Not Why really. did the Shia and the Sunni disagree? Not really, but if you're saying it's man-made that Muhammad failed, how did Muhammad fail up until the point that he passed away? Right, so let me, let me ask... How did he fail? He, he's, he's created this caliphate, yeah. right, this perfect, wonderful system, and then he didn't make it clear how, on his death, he was to be succeeded. Yeah, but he didn't need to, because he didn't want anyone to succeed him. He was the last messenger. Right, but so but what, his, what his but he was mission all, was, wasn't just what, a prophet. And what he, needed, what he needed to do to succeed was to get the message out before he passed away. Right, but he wasn't and just a prophet, did, was he? He was a political did, leader, wasn't he? Did Muhammad? I'm not saying that. Right, so you're, as you're a political me, leader, he you're ask, failed. You're asking me, yeah, but he wasn't trying to be a political leader. It's a brave pigeon. Yeah, no, he wasn't trying to be a political leader. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he wasn't trying to be a political leader. Oh, hold on. He established a caliphate, didn't he? Yeah, but he wasn't trying to established the caliphate. His, he, was his he mission ruler? was to give the word of Allah. Was he a ruler? He was a ruler because people let him be a ruler. And did he govern by a, a, a yeah, system because, of law? Yeah, because people chose that. Okay, so... All if, of these are man-made things you're so telling me. If he, if he governed by a system of law and he yeah. created this system in which he was a ruler of a political entity, yeah. when he died, when he died yeah. it was incumbent upon him to say how he would be succeeded. Not really. Why not? Because his mission was to spread the word of Islam, and that was it. His Did mission wasn't to um, get a state and get all of this stuff and be a political leader and leave someone else in charge. That wasn't his mission. Okay, okay. His um, mission was to leave the message of Islam and yeah, let the let, message let me, of Islam me, be the leader. Let me deal with that for a second, right? Yeah. So, he, he, your, because you've said that Shia fighting Sunni and Sunni fighting Shia and killing one another is because it's man-made. And I agree with you, it is. But the reason why they fight one another is because they couldn't agree about the proper way that Muhammad should be succeeded. And is, is that a fact or not? It's a fact that people have... Um, no, no, no. The, the, what what I is, just let, me, let me just state something first. Fact yeah, let me just state something first of all. First of all, I'm not very intellectually educated on, on religion. On religion. Didn't you debate me about how, is Christianity destroying the world? No. Is that someone else? No, no, no. Someone no. else. Who was it? Me. You right, were, right. you were having a debate. No, no, with, yeah. uh, me and you spoke once because you and someone were speaking about how ISIS and all of this stuff goes by the cali one of the older caliphates. Yeah, yeah. ISIS and, looks and like I all the older caliphates. I joined that conversation saying oh, the Muslims around you here and today, they don't represent that. So what is the point of thinking that? Yeah, but what I was saying to you is right now in any state you go in, the Muslims around you don't don't represent what ISIS do. But going back to the point you were making, um, what were what was you asking me again? So my question to you was, right, we, we both agree that the, the dispute between the Shia and the Sunni yeah. is man-made. Totally. I, I believe that. I, I know I, I agree with you, it I, is man-made. Yeah, I believe it's man-made because point, it's not in the Quran. But the point is, the point is, that the point that I'm making to you is that it's man-made precisely because Muhammad didn't address the question. And you agree with me, Muhammad didn't address yeah, the question. But then, yeah, but now Do you, you agree with me, Muhammad didn't address the question didn't of how he should... He didn't Right. Hold you're you're going to make me agree with something to you, but it's not needed for him okay, to address so the if question. He didn't so why, what is the point of right, you asking me to address so, it? So, so my point is this. If he didn't need to, and because he didn't, the Muslim community split with one another and then started fighting and killing one another, it was his neglect that was responsible. It wasn't his neglect. How was yes. his, his neglect? Because as a political leader... If you understand... If you I'll understand, let you say and no, then I'll reply. Yeah, if you understand... If you understand about about religion, right? Because you you follow you follow a faith. 
So you know there is um, something between good and bad, right? So we believe there's there's the shaitan, yeah. which is whispering to the to mankind as we even speak now. As we even speak now, he's trying to influence because he's waged the war against our Creator. Mm. So, when Muhammad has left, people are still having this shaitan around, whispering things. It wasn't it wasn't entirely Muhammad to blame or the humans to blame why there has been divisions because we was warned about the divisions. We was warned about the sex that will come up. And this is what has this is what has happened. And, is that and, right if I reply? Yeah, 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 it's fine. Yeah. So, so, so my point, my, the point. That we're not having a debate. We're just having. A discussion. I know we're having a discussion. So, so my, I'm not being heckled. So it's definitely a discussion. Yeah. So, so my point to you is that we've got a situation, historically speaking, where a political leader neglects to answer the most obvious question of political leadership which is how he is to be succeeded, yeah. right? And precisely because of his failure, Muslims divided against one another and have been killing one another ever since. So you... So, so you, in terms of, okay. you said, you said, if I found destruction that was connected to Islam... Mass destruction. Yes. So how Even many... Even destruction. How Even many... destruction. If I found destruction within Islam, I would be like... Can I ask a question, bro? Have you ever heard of the Armenian Genocide? Yeah. I'm part Armenian, yeah? Okay. Why does every let me ask you this? Why does every Islamic country, especially Pakistan and Bangladesh, yeah. don't recognise my country as a state? Exactly. They don't recognise the genocide. Well, they, 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 they're trying to cover I, it under the carpet. Do you know about the Armenian? You know my, my dad, his yeah. family, in, they, they live in India. They're from India. Yeah. My grandparents, great grandparents, left Armenia, came to India via Iraq. There's a small community in Calcutta. But why is India was the first country to actually? But what, would you like to put this on sale? I'd love to do that, mate. Yeah. I was going to speak to Raj later on about talking about some other topic like Russia. Well, I on that. Yeah, I think a lot of that. You can't blame that on religion. Hold on. Because hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. No, no. Do you know about Abdul, Abdul Abdul Hamid II? The, 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 the caliphs, the caliphs and the, the, and the, the muftis and the called Empire. for the wiping out of the <laughs> Armenians. Okay, and not the just Syrians. Armenians. No, no, but I wasn't, I wasn't addressing that. I wasn't Greeks addressing well. that. So, but the point is, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. You, said, you said if there was destruction connected to Islam, I would leave it. The Armenian genocide, the Syrian genocide yeah. is an example yeah. of the thing yeah, you're talking as, about. Yeah, but as you've told me that now, and I've told you, I'm yeah. not very um, intellectually educated. You know, Iran is the only country that recognizes it. The only would, Islamic country, would, Iran, recognizes my genocide. Would, All would, the other Islamic would, countries, would, uh, Iraq, would, Syria, would, whatever it is, yeah. Pakistan, yeah. Pakistan but what uh, Jordan, they all saying, Saudi Arabia saying no. They're saying it never happened. Why are they trying to brush you on the carpet, innit? You mentioned Pakistan and Bangladesh. Yeah, they're the two countries that don't even recognize my country as a country, mate. Right. Let alone the genocide, I don't recognize it as a state. And, yet, and, yet, and, yet, and yet, my country okay, recognizes and yet, your country as a state. And right, those yes, countries I, are lecturing us about Islamophobia. Yeah, exactly. so, can, so can I respond? <laughs> yeah, course, so yeah. you've said why is Bangladeshis and Pakistanis? I'm not rec the only two I'm, countries. I'm Bangladeshi. The only I'm, two Islamic countries I'm don't recognize my country as a state, mate. I'm Bangladeshi. I know that. It's why 2018. I recognize Armenia. So why, why, does you, why does your government not recognize it? How does my government not recognize it? If you check on. The relationship to Armenia, these two are, countries, so, are, those two countries say, so no, we don't are, recognize your country's state. You I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's because the Armenian state broke out of uh, occupation by the Islamic Caliphate. It yeah. broke out of the disintegration of the Ottoman Empire. Right. And the idea, and the idea that, that a Christian country should emerge from a Muslim country is an anathema. Do you know it's the only Christian state in the Middle East, Armenia? We're surrounded no, by Georgia. Georgia, yeah, Georgia, 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 Georgia. Lebanon used to be. Azerbaijan, 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 Azerbaijan is Muslim, but they're still yeah. occupying yeah. Christian land. The yeah. Armenians are still Yeah, the, the, the Nagorno Karabakh was actually our land. They're taking, yeah. they're taking I want to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys can have that discussion on that. Anyway, can I ask you? Yeah. Separately, right? Have you ever, for yourself, apart from what other people tell you, have you ever, for yourself, actually picked up a Bible and read it? I have during school time. Okay. I have during school time, but what, but what I'm going to say on that, when I picked up the Bible and all of this other stuff, during school time, I picked it up on a government-based authority educational level. But now, if I go and pick up a Bible, I'll pick it up to see what's in the Bible, but I don't need to. You don't need to? I don't need to. Because right. I have firm belief in the Quran that I've, I've read, and I've understood it from the English translation, but I'm trying to learn the Arabic now so I can understand it on a proper understanding. But the Quran that I've read is made more than enough sense to me. Right, hold on one second. 
what, what you're saying to me is, because this is a very closed mind that you're presenting of yourself. You're saying that as a child, I read the Bible, but now I'm an adult and can think like an adult. I don't need to I go back I, yeah, I and to I look again. I don't, ag I don't agree with um, some of the things in Christianity. Right, but uh, what I'm asking you is not <laughs> what you agree with or disagree with. I'm not interested. Well, it is, but you're asking what me would I pick up a Bible. Exactly. So if I don't agree with it, why am I going to pick it up to even further disagree with it? Because Muhammad did. I know Muhammad did. We, we, we've been told to, to read the Bible and the um, Right, so you've just Torah. said it yourself. You've been told to read the Bible and the Torah, right? Yeah. So why don't you? I will do. Okay. Have you got one? No, I don't have one. Let me give you one. No, I don't need one from you. I'll just give you a gospel. I don't, I don't need one from you. You don't need one? I don't need one from you. Oh, yes. When I'm going to educate myself on it, I will go and read it. But as you can see, so, do you know so what I mean, bruv? Like, would, how would you respond? So I wouldn't disrespect my taking okay. your Bible Let, right let's now. Let's be clear, let's be clear. Because I wouldn't right now pick if up someone, a Quran in my if hand someone, either, If someone understand? said to you... It's, it's about a morality if, thing. If we take your words yeah. and we put them in an Englishman, says, I don't need to read the Quran. There's things about Islam I disagree with. Do you know what I say to him? How would you respond to that? Do you know what I say to him? Like I say to everyone in the park. Yeah. You have your belief. You're right to your belief. I have my belief. Yeah. I'm right to my belief. So what can me and you do as two separate believers in a community? This is what you, I mean, I don't know if that's what you say. That's what I'm, t I'm telling you. you. I'll take you Everybody you in the park who starts, it, who starts saying all this stuff about uh, all of, all of this religion want. stuff. I'm like, bro, I don't come to the park for religion. I come to the park because I'm in the UK yeah. and I'm here to find out what we but can do in would, the UK what, to better the what, UK. What I would say to you, though, or what I would say to you, though, is if you are truly seeking to learn and to find knowledge. In yeah, what, though? In truth. As in religion? Yes. I'm, then, I'm, then you I'm more than to, happy with the truth I've found. The, then you, then, and then I'm gonna you just better my knowledge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna better my knowledge in my, in my religion. So when you do question me and stuff like that, I can give you the right answers. And yep. I am gonna, I, I am gonna read into other channels and 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 so on, just to better myself on knowledge when people say stuff about their religion. Let me ask you another question. Can you read Arabic? No, I just mentioned that. Is it fair to say then you've never read? I know. I can read Arabic. I can read Arabic, I can read Arabic written, Do you understand but I don't you understand it. That's okay. what I was saying. So you can't read it, you can recite it. I can recite it, if okay. that's the correct word. So, so in, terms of, in terms of understanding Islam, yeah. you actually have no basis, uh, except yeah, what other people just, have told you. I've just told you, I read, you know? I read the Quran, right. I, I I've read the Quran you. in yeah, don't Arabic. Don't I, want to you, okay? I want to talk to you. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've read the Quran in Arabic when I was young. As I've grown older, I know that I've read the Quran, but I haven't understood it. So I've read the Quran in translation in English. Would, and is, in that, is that valid? It is valid. It's valid? It's valid. Do you know any Muslim Dawah team that would say that if I quote the Quran in English to make a criticism of Islam, no, no, but it, they I'll wouldn't do, then go, but that's not an what, Arabic Quran? What, what I'll tell you is I've read the translation in this Quran and, it, and I'll refer you to the Arabic Quran yeah. So you understand it and you accept it. Right. So so what you're suggesting is that you as a did you say Bangladeshi? Yeah. That you as a Bangladeshi and me as an Englishman must both become like Arabs and learn Arabic. Can't God speak to you in your own language? I don't think anyway it's said that you have to learn Arabic. Then, it tells you to read the Quran. So how can no, you so read the Quran if you don't yeah, read so Arabic? Let me, let me finish my question. You're asking me, because I'm from Bangladesh, you're from England, and so someone is from Jamaica, which all all these places wasn't established when the Quran was out. It's an invalid question. No, it's a valid question it's because not. it is because a valid question. At the question. time the Quran was, was, was made, the truth of that language sorry, was second. to be the truth. One second. The the, the, the the English people, the English nation yeah. is first recorded in history in the fourth century. Okay. Predates Islam. Okay. Okay, my people is older than your religion. Okay. Alright? So but so what you're what saying you to me what you're saying to me is that I, as an Englishman... No, but you mentioned me as a Bengali person, so I told well, I don't know you, me about as a Bengali, Bengali, even if I read the Bengali Quran, I is would there get, a Bengali Quran? There's a, like there is an English, English translation. Is it's a translate. Quran? Is it a Quran? It's a translation is of the Quran. Quran. So if you're asking me the same question I asked you on your video, because you, you were referring to an English texted yeah. Quran, and I was asking you, is that a Quran? So you can answer exactly. it for yourself. So my point to you is then, if you acknowledge that you can only read the Quran if you read Arabic, what you mu therefore are logically forced to conclude is that to understand what God wants to say to you, you have to take Learn on the someone word of the else's Quran. language. 
You have to take on the Arabs' language. That's it's Arabization. It's not the Arabs' right language. It's the, it is. it's the language of the Quran. It's the language. Of, so who spoke Arabic before the Quran? It doesn't matter. It, it's it, an obvious no, logical what, question. What I'm saying to Why you, avoid it? I'm, who spoke what, what Arabic you, before the if Quran? If Muhammad at the time spoke Chinese, you're not yeah, answering the question. I am answering the question. I am answering the question. If Muhammad at the time spoke Chinese, or not Muhammad, if the Quran was revealed in Chinese. Everyone would have to learn the Chinese to understand the Quran. Exactly. So can't God speak to you in your own language? Why is God going to make 500 different books at that time? Ah, now there's a difference that you need to So, the, so because Muhammad was is, from... No, no, because Muhammad was from that culture This is why you need to learn about Christianity, bro. Why? Because you just made a logical fallacy. Okay. You have assumed that my religion works like your religion. I haven't assumed. Yes, you have that. How? Because you've just said, why would God speak in 500 languages? Assuming no, no, I didn't say that. Why would he books? speak in 500, 500 languages? 500 books. When he was revealed, no, on why would, why would one on. prophet... Can I speak? No, no, you can't no, no, because no, you're I'm, trying to I'm change my to. answer. I'm going to speak. Right, let me hear what you have to say. I'm going to speak. And so this is why this people is, heckle with this you. This is why. No, because no, no, you cut no, in. No, no, no. And then you make assumptions of what they're saying. I have listened patiently to what you're saying. Yeah. And I'm responding. So you're saying... You have made a claim that is false. It's based on a false premise. You're assuming that the only way God can speak to humanity is through a no, book. No, I'm not. Is through a book. No, I'm not. Uh, so God can speak without a book? God revealed the Quran. Allah revealed the Quran to Muhammad through what? Through a book? Can Allah... Did he reveal it through a book? Is he speaking to you in a book? Did he reveal it to Muhammad in a okay. book? This, this conversation started off in a, a familial way. Yeah. It's disintegrating now. Because, because you're asking me you're unvalid not, questions. These are valid questions. You're telling me about why didn't these are valid why questions. Why didn't the creator write why in so should many I languages? Arabize? Give me a good reason to Arabize. Because Muhammad was speaker of that language. There you go. And Allah revealed it to him as he's the last messenger. So did Moses and Isa and everybody else speak the same language as Muhammad? No. Then what's your point? My point is... The Torah is, was written. We believe well, in the Torah. Now you've asked me a question. Can so, I answer it? So he, yeah, so God does create in different languages if you're now going by that basis. Now you've asked me a question. Can I answer it? Yeah. Right. So you ask, what's your point? My point is that there's a better way to communicate to humanity. And that that is not rooted in a language. So do you when, believe... No, no, hold on uh, one second. Yeah, yeah. You've asked a question. Let me answer it. Yeah, yeah. So my point to you is... That if Christ becomes, we believe, as you know, that God becomes a man in Christ. Okay? okay yeah. So the divine takes on flesh, becomes a human being, and then there are stories told about him. And it's those narratives, those stories that, that communicate the truth about yeah. Jesus. Okay? Okay, that's your belief. Now, because, they're because they are, are, are stories, yeah. the words in and of themselves are not what are important, neither is the language which means that the stories can be communicated and translated in different in languages fact, in, in different languages in fact like the Quran is. in fact no you know you've misunderstood in fact the 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 christian oh. faith the christian faith can be communicated without any bible at all which okay. is really different from Islam. Because and what the in Quran Islam, isn't, isn't, isn't in, memorized and recited by in millions Islam, of, or thousands of people in, exactly the same? Dif no, they're not. It, there's at least seven different Qurans, at least. How? Possibly more. How? Because the, the recitations are different. But that's getting off my point. My point to you is that by contrast, whichever Quran you believe to be from Muhammad, and there's more than one, if you believe that the Quran is the literal words of God, then your logic is sound to say it can't be translated. And if it is sound to say it can't be translated, then that means, and I agree with you, it can't, that means, that, that, means that you have to Arabize to embrace Islam. And that's what's happened in Bengali, Bengal is what's happened in Pakistan, Afghanistan. Each of those nations have taken on dress and modes of behavior that are not inherent to their own culture. They have Arabized. Now let's be honest, in Bengal, Bangladesh. right? Yeah, in Bangladesh. Like there are aspects of culture, are there not, that yeah. are actually traceable to um, the Hinduism Middle East. And stuff like that. No, 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 they're traceable to the Middle East. They've got nothing to do with the Bengali people. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that, but that's, that's like everywhere. That's everywhere that Islam dominates. How? This doesn't happen with the church. The church of what? The Christian so, church. Okay, so, so, so you're telling me about Christian church, right? And Christians, it doesn't happen in these countries. 
Do you know there's a large population of Christians in Bangladesh? Of course. And a growing one. So now how does that statement understand? How does your statement make sense for Bangladesh? Right. If you said it about Islam, but Christianity right. is there well, as well. What's the language of um, the Bengali people? Urdu, isn't it? No, it's Bengali. Bengali, sorry. Then yeah. I'm mixing it with somewhere else. Yeah, somewhere. Urdu is like, I think, more India, India. and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll like just Punjab. give you an example, right? Islam dominated where the where where Urdu was the spoken language for centuries. Okay. And it wasn't until the Christians came along, the Christian missionaries, mm. that Urdu became a written script. Okay. So Christianity contributed to the development of that culture. Okay. Right? In Bengal, in mm. uh, amongst the Bengali Bangladesh, Bengal, uh, amongst the Bengali people, I'm speaking yeah. of the ethnicity, not the nation yeah, state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand what you're saying though, sorry. Right. Yeah, you know and I know, I, I think you know, I'm mm. assuming you know that the Christian faith is a growing faith in Bengal. No. It is. You know, it's it's growing because of the small size of it. It's gonna look like it's growing. It is growing. But it's not going as rapidly as because there's a lot of Hindus there. There's a lot of Christians there's there a lot of, that are coming there are, back there, to Islam there in Bangladesh. Are Muslims becoming Christians. And there's in Christians Bengal. and Hindus yeah. coming back to Islam okay. in Bangladesh. So my, my point to you is those those Your point churches, is invalid. No it isn't. Those churches those churches do not need to take on forms of dress connected to the Middle East. Those Christians do not need to take on forms of language so what do connected the priests to wear? the Middle East. So when the priests in the, in the churches, what do they wear? Those liturgical dresses. What do they wear? The, the, the priests, yeah. they will wear a liturgical dress. So they dress in a certain way. They dress so in they're a changing the, the dress the, of normal people that go in there. No, those are the dress of priests. So all if, priests so if, wear liturgical dress. So if dress. someone wanted to be a really good Christian yeah. and wanted to become they a priest... They do not have to dress like a priest. But I asked you what do priests, priests wear? Firstly, let's just deal with the, the, the dressing of the priest. One, it's not obligatory, it's optional. So why... Right? Okay. Two. Two. It is not... It is, it is something that can be fashioned by the, the culture of the time. Okay. And so you'll find in Bengali churches... So a priest can, so a priest can turn up to the park... In, in his, jeans in, and t-shirt. In his boxers. And talk about religion. Well, no, not his boxes, because so exactly, that's so, immodest. So, so, so exactly, that's you immodest. said the word. What's the word? No. Is it, what is it? It's not Arabization. No, no, that's immodesty, what? not Arabization. It's immodesty. Yeah. So ah, anything, so you're equating no, no, Arab any, dress with modesty. Any, anything in Islamic text about dressing yeah. is about modesty. Right, so... So if a, if a so, priest isn't going to come to the park so in his boxes... So when you see a Bangladeshi who lives in a country drenched in rain, yeah. wearing a niqab that yeah. is connected to the deserts of the Middle East and keeping sand out of your face, yeah. you're telling me that's not Arabization. I'm telling you that it's the girl's choice to wear the niqab. I know it's a choice. Then why but is it Arab? It's Arabization. It doesn't matter, it's Islamic. When you, sp thank you. So it is about Arabization, you're making my point for me. You're making no sense. If it makes a lot of sense to anyone follow, following the if conversation. If you're gonna follow a religion, you're going to follow the religion. Yes, I agree. So, if the religion tells you to dress modestly, and which like is said, defined by Arab dress, norms of Arab dress from yeah, the seventh century. What you need to understand is it's Islamic. Yes. So Arab, which Bengali, is Arab, Arab, Bengali, <laughs> everything. You need to cut it out because Arab is a nation. Yeah. Islam is a way of life, it's a religion. Yeah, so is Christianity. So is Christianity. Right. So when I say to you, oh, there's a there's a Bengali Christian dress like this and that, yeah. you're going to be like, ah, oh, but I don't, like, do you know what I'm trying to say? You're trying to say because they dress modestly, it's an Arab thing, it's Islamic. Right, but what I'm saying to you is that... If the, it's come, if it's no, come no, from no, an Arab, Arab time, from exactly. that, so if it's come from there, it's yep. going to be of that. Thank you very much. That's all I needed you to say. Thank you. Why? Because you've just proven to me that Islam is about Arabization. Islam is about Islam. Arabization. When was it, when was it created? In the 7th century. When, when was Islam established as, its, as the last message? Well, I mean, arguably, it was established as the last message at the time of Muhammad. At the time of Muhammad. So before that, the people of the Creator, yeah. which we class as still Muslim, right? Yeah. What was their mission? Right. So, what, sorry, what's the question? What was their mission? What was their tribe? Who, who? Were, they, were they from the Arab who? times? Who? Um, the, the Christians. The Christians and the Jews. Right, the, the, they're the two, the, two the, faiths the, the, that come mess, before Islam, uh, well, right? Allow me to address this question, okay? Because you, you've got to understand that my faith as a Christian is not defined by Islam. All this Alim al-Kitab crap, it's got nothing I'm, to I'm do not with I'm not going by none faith. of that. I'm going by... Right, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, allow I'm going, me to, I'm let, going let by me, like a layman's point of view because you guys talk let to a lot of educated respond. people. Let me respond. Yeah, so the Christian faith, yeah. our mission as Christians, is that we are to establish the kingdom of God on earth. Okay. That is what the Christian mission is. And what that means is that we establish the new covenant that okay. was brought by Christ to the world. And we do this through evangelism, 
through pursuing justice, through pursuing good works, through, you know, things like charity, yeah, by yeah, yeah, good yeah. personal conduct. And I, I'm just like for the most beliefs do in their own belief. And just for the yeah. sake of the camera, I'm no saint. You're sat across from a sinner. I, I struggle with sin, I have sinned, I do sin, and yeah, I no probably will sin in the future. No, no one's okay? And, and, and not little sins either. I'm not like someone who, oh, I swear occasionally. Like big probably sins. Probably having a couple of free yeah. sins, guys. Right, right. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm making it clear. Like you're doing, like you're doing weed right now, I, I'm saying that it's I have cutting sinned. off, guys. I, 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 am, I, I have got sin that's serious. Right? So I'm not stood here as the perfect model, but what I'm saying to you is, as the Christian, we pursue a life of good works, of personal self-discipline, in pursuit of justice, and for the kingdom of God. Right. That is that is the mission of the Christian church. Okay, so do you know the mission of, of, of Muslims? Yeah, to establish Islamic law. To, to establish the rule of Allah in Sharia. The mission is to share the word of Allah. Right, which is Sharia. Which is the creator, yeah? Brother, if you could just let us have a conversation. I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking about Sharia. I'm asking, I'm telling you, Sharia is a set An of invention. laws. invention. So Sharia is what? An a invention. set of laws. Yes. Okay. Defined by who? It, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pointing that out though. What I'm saying to you, Muslims' mission is to spread the word of Islam. Yes. That we believe that yes. Allah is the creator and Muhammad is his last messenger. And we do charity, like everything you said, we do things in charity, in goodwill and yeah, stuff like yeah, that and yeah. so I'm, on. I'm not denying any of that. Yeah, so I asked you, what do you think Islam's mission is? Yeah, and which is to establish you, Islamic law. It's not to establish Islamic law. Okay, so show me a time in Islamic history where that has not been what Muslims have been trying to do. No. Are there, are there, are there, are there Muslims at the corner trying to establish Islamic law here? What, in UK? Yeah. No, bro. So they're not, they're not, no, they're not presenting Sharia as an alternative they're to liberal They're presenting laws. a religion to people. Just yeah. like the, the Christians are presenting the Christianity to people. Just like the, the maybe the Rasta people there are representing, because this is Speaker's Corner, that's what they're doing. Yeah. People ain't coming here, Muslim people, saying, ah, oh, let's make UK an Islamic state. No, no, because no, I'm first not saying all, they are. I'm first not of all, they are. first of all, as a Muslim, you cannot establish an Islamic state in a state that doesn't accept it. Right, hold on. Second of all, hold on. A second of all, Go on. as a Muslim, in a state which is more populated by non-Muslims, would it really make sense to make an Islamic state? Right, let, let's just, let, hold on one second. Because what you've just said is contradicted by history. Because what, what Why are you bringing history into it? You've talked about the UK. You've talked about the UK. Yes, of course. You've talked about because, the park. Because, so why is history got to do with the park? Because when um, Muhammad had died... Yeah. Did he come to Hyde Park? What <laughs> happened was that the successors of Muhammad invaded lands that were not their own and imposed Sharia law on populations did them, that were did not Muslim. Did them invaders of Muhammad, them, did them invaders... And that's, what, that's just the fact of history, man. I know, and in history, right. so lots of countries have done it to other people. contradicts everything you've saying, so British people saying, have done it to other people, are you black saying people that, have done it to other people. Are, are, so, what uh, I'm is saying, it wrong? Was it wrong? It's wrong. Right, so were the rightly guided caliphs wrong to do it? What do you mean rightly guided caliphs? The, if they done four, wrong... There were four... Uh, listen, this is what I said to you. I'm assuming you're a Sunni Muslim. No, I'm, I'm a Muslim. Right, I don't so put myself Sunni, in this state. I don't put myself in this state. Okay, that's fine. Because this is what I told the brothers that in the park. That is fine. That Quran is fine. doesn't give okay, you bro, sex bro, or whatever. I am not. I am not. I am not. Uh, I am not going to put you into a box. No, but you can't. You can't right. avoid what you just done there. Right. What you just no, done no, there. No, 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 you need to stick no, to what no, you done no, there no, because no, you. No, no, no. Let me let me make a point. So can right. you so can let you tell me, the camera that Muslims ain't in the park trying to establish let, Sharia law? Can no, you tell the camera? There, there are Muslims in the park trying to establish Sharia law. What about the majority of the Muslims in the park? I don't know the majority of the Muslims. I said there are Muslims. Should we go around today park? and talk to the majority of the no, Muslims? No, I haven't got time to do a census of all the Why Muslims. Why not? Because you're giving because out, you're giving all your viewers the wrong impression. No, no, no. I'm so giving the, like I'm giving the, the viewers right the right impression. There are so should some we? Muslims in the park who are trying to establish Sharia law. That does not imply that all Muslims in the park. And I would also like to say establish there Sharia is law. a minority in the park trying to make it law to kick out Muslims from this country. Not the majority, but a minority. That is also that? true, yes. All right, so right. We, as long as you understand, yeah, I'm not, it's a, I'm not frightened it's a of facts. minority. I'm not frightened it's of facts. It's a minority, right? I'm not frightened of facts, but what I'm yeah, going to so talk to you about is is Abu Bakr, yeah. Othman, yeah. Osman, and Ali all led invasions of lands that were not their own. Now, you said, okay. you said 
that in that imposing Islam, imposing yeah. Sharia law on a population Why? that did not want it and that was not a majority Muslim, was not majority Muslim, was wrong. Which means that you know why, why they no logic, one second, countries? one second, thank you for admitting that they did. But why? <laughs> but, I think but, you're so but, smart, bro. But, 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 no, one second. But you know, I'm not like the other guys logic. who get pushed off by the little comments you make. But I'll laugh it off and tell you, Bob, you're a joke, fam. Good for you, that's fine. So, but by your own logic, by your own logic, you yeah. should condemn Uthman, Osman, Ali, and which one is the one I'm forgetting? Abu Bakr. Okay. Do so you condemn them? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come to that. Do you know why they invaded the countries? Yes, because it was an imperialist movement to impose Islam on the world. They saw it as a religious Where's your mission. Proof for that? By their own statements. Bring me the proof. I don't have them right now. We can look at what so, they... So you're speaking to someone who's got... I told you I'm not intellectually knowledgeable right. on that, yeah? yeah? So I asked you, if you're going to come with anything, you're going to have to give me the proof of it, right? That's fine. I'll bring so it So may, maybe time. the next time we chat, yeah, next yeah, Sunday we'll be here. I'll bring it. You bring me the proof yep. of why they invaded. Yes. And what was the reason of the invasion. Their, their internal rationale. Yes. Remember, you're always okay. going to have 12 noon. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go by what you're saying, because as I told you... I'll we'll do it as a thought experiment. No, no, I just want you to provide me the evidence because I don't need to prove it so to myself. My, my experience is though, my experience, this is what my experience is and I hope it's not... What are you trying to make me condemn? Bad behaviour? I am I condemn bad behaviour all do over. You, so you condemn Abu Bakr, Osman, Uthman and Ali for invading lands that were not their own? Why did they invade them? They invaded them because they saw it as their divine, God-given mission to bring Islam to the world. What, what place did they invade? They invaded Syria. They invaded Persia. Why they did they invade? Palestine. Why did they invade? They invaded uh, Egypt. Right, so why they did invaded they, North let's choose Africa. One of them. Let's they choose invaded one of them. Spain. The they invaded choose Egypt. One of them. They invaded Turkey. They invaded Armenia. Choose. They invaded Georgia. They invaded India. Choose any of them Muslims countries. What's your point? Have consistently yeah, until they were stopped by military force. Muslims have, in historical terms, invaded lands where, whenever they've been organised well enough to invaded lands and we've seen it again with ISIS. We've okay, seen it again okay, with okay, ISIS. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go by everything you just said. So you said do you study the Quran? Yes. I study a translation of the Quran. Where in the Quran I can't read Arabic. Where in the Quran does it tell you to invade a country? Where in the Quran does it oh no no no. It tells you to to struggle and fight in the way of Allah. Answer the question I'm asking you please Bob. I am asking Where in the Quran I, it does not does state it tell explicitly, you to invade a country. I, I'm going to answer the question directly and explicitly. It does not tell you to invade um, other countries explicitly. What it says, what it says, is that Islam is the superior way of life. That Muslims have a mission to take that to other people. That that that, that Muslims should go, wage back on that. war against back on that. Muslims should wage war against the unbeliever. So they should start war on the unbeliever. It says should, that in the Quran. Says that in the Quran. To start war on the unbeliever. Wage war I against want you the to show me. Yeah, I that's fine. No, 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 no. no. I'll show you. I want you to show me the verse I'm going to and, show you. and the exact Actually. translation in the Arabic Quran, like yeah. you said to me earlier. Ah, oh, okay. So there we go. I'm going by your there word. There we go. I'm going by your so word. So man, defend. See? Right? Because he said to me, I can't read a translated Quran. And what does he pull I, out? I, 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 Show I, I, the boy. Show the camera what you pulled I out. I'm going to. You told me I can't read. And what, what did you say about me in the Quran? Like a million times. So like, what did you this say is to me? Hold on, hold on. I know it isn't, and I accept translations because they are translations. Exactly. But what I'm saying to you is, why did you tell me earlier that I cannot read right. a translated Quran? Because that's what Islam teaches you. You can't. That it's not. So the Quran. why are you why are you taking this as a valid reference if Islam Thank doesn't you. accept so it as what, a valid so, reference? So, so what put it away. So what you're trying to Bring say. Bring the valid no, no. reference. So, so what you're on your to own say. statement. So what you're trying to say is. What so you're, you're saying to, say is, to, to I, go by the Quranic are you just reference. Getting, are you just going to speak or can I reply? Because I'm trying to neglect your reference because right. of your statement. Can I? I will wait until Bob you finish. Bob is match, nigga. Oh, sorry. In a bad way, but. Oh, 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 oh. Listen, listen. Not from my lips. Not in the COE. racist not way. Not from my lips, Leon. From not his. In the, not in the racist way. Listen, my all boys know. All you Kemets. All my, you my boys nation know, of Islam. They're all Pakis all you like they are niggas, Hebrew, innit? It's a way, it's a way of, I refer not to my Not from friends. the Christian's lips. All right, anyway. Anyway. Trying to make a division again. But I repeat yeah. that word again. What was that word? <laughs> what was that word? <laughs> no, no, no. What did you say in front of a black man? Yeah. What no, was that not, word? In a, not in a bad reference way. And I'm sure if my, if my black Can friends were here. Can you give me an example where my, nigger is used positively? If my black friends were here. It's oh, not, you it's nigger, not you're such a nice person. I just want to say. I just want to <laughs> say. You nigger, you're such a great, lovely guy. I just want to say. Guy. He's just repeating it in, in a bad way. And I'm, I'm sorry if I offended anyone. I didn't mean it like that. Good. I'm sure you can see it in my humbleness, innit? All right, accepted. From me at least. 
some to um, people too. No, no, that, my, my, I, my people know, you innit? Spoke. I accept you They misspoke. call me Paki all day long. It's nothing that affects me unless someone means it as in you dirty Paki or something. Incidentally, you know I mean? incidentally anyone who, who criticises people <laughs> because of their ethnicity by calling them Pakis. I want you to be clear that you have nothing to do with me and your, 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 your conduct is not becoming of a Christian if you're claiming to be a Christian. Ethnicity no, has nothing to do with it. It's confused. Nothing to do with it. You Christian. can tell I wasn't being racist to you. It was I, A, two, B, three. You're not black, man. Come on, brother. You just came out of speech. I'm not black. You came out of speech. <laughs> well, according to the liberal, if you can identify to be whatever gender you want, why can't you identify? So where are you going to? I'm not accepting your reference under your statement. Right. I don't see so where you're going. I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Show Hold me on. what. All I'm right. Show you. What What's are you going to show me? What's the answer? Who is God? Jesus or Allah? Whoa. <sighs> Whoa. Simple question. It's a right. simple. It's a simple answer. What is it? Um, if for Arab Christians, Allah is God and Allah is Jesus. What does that no, mean? No, not really. That's what the Christian faith teaches. Really? Yeah. Pull out, pull out the Bible first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull out the Bible. So Christians yeah. tell you that Allah is, is, is God? Christian Arabs were using the term Allah long before Muslims. Can I ask you a question, bro? Yeah. You know, there's that all these different... You know, there's all these different... Yeah, there's Christian Arabs, You know, there's all these different religions, they right? Predate, they predate Arab Muslims. You know, there's all these different religions, right, Bob? Yeah. Yeah? And um, in your religion, you Go accept on. you accept that your religion is the best, right? I do. It's the best. I do. It's better than everyone else. Yep. So wouldn't you say that you believe your religion is superior to everyone else? My my faith. The Hold way on. Answer the question I'm asking. I'm going you. to. But, you can't but, extend the okay. question. Okay. Are you just going to keep talking, or can I? Speak? I want you to answer the question. Can and I beat around the bush. Why are you beating around the bush, bro? So do you believe? Bro. Bro, no bros. You know, you know full There's well no in that, that like trying no to church in corral me into something is not going to work. I'm not going to corral you. I'm yeah. asking you a question. I am trying to do answer it, believe... but you won't. Shut up. You're okay. a Christian and you're holding you right. won't so, shut up. So do you believe? You sh won't shut up. You you're believe... confused, bro. <laughs> you, do you believe Christianity yes. is superior to other religions? Yes. So you do. Yes. So what's wrong with Islam claiming that they're superior to other religions? Okay, I'm going to explain that. If you will be quiet for a moment and let All right, me speak. let's see what this explanation you're, you're is. Okay. So in terms of in terms of leading you need people, to go find a church. in terms of leading people to the faith, the Christian faith is the only way of salvation. That's clear from Scripture. You're avoiding then the question. I, will you be quiet no, for a moment no, and let me speak? Christian faith. So the Christian the faith, the Christian Jesus, the Christian faith is the only the faith that leads him. someone to salvation and there is no other way. You do know that the, the word Joshua sense, means salvation in that as well. sense, Brother, could you stop being rude and just let us have a conversation? Yeah, you are. Um, in terms of, in terms of the, in terms of... I'm so of, confused that I'm in a Christian the, in, that's holding the Quran. In, the, in, the, in terms of the, the, the faith, in terms of the faith, try Thessalonian in terms of the faith, the, the, the Christian faith, the only way of salvation through the is Pope. through the Christian faith, not through the Pope. Christ. So, so, so that's, no, in, that's right. in the Christian. In, in that sense, that's what is, Christian and in believe. In that sense, it is the only way of salvation. That's the Christian however, belief. However, however, no, one not. second. Let me finish. Let me finish. Believe. However, in in the Christian faith, there's no the concept of, the of any utopian vision. We don't believe. What you does mean? utopian mean? I thought yeah. you got to so, speak to me like yeah. a layman. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Utopia. So utopian what means perfect. Death? Perfect. What's the right? Bible verse? Where everything is perfect, hunky dory, so there are no problems. So Christians don't believe that Christianity is perfect. Is that what you're saying? Without interrupting me, I might answer your questions before you have to ask okay. them. Is it the Baptist? Okay. Is it the so in terms of the the faith, confused, the man. the Christian faith doesn't teach a utopian society. We teach that because of human sin, whatever kind of structure, what political, sin, economic, or otherwise, Hold it, we human it, beings correct, will correct. Tell me if I understood this wrong. Okay. You are admitting no perfect you are admitting, system of law to live by. You are admitting now, as a Christian, yes. that you guys don't believe your religion no, 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 is the you perfect guys, one. Him. Firstly, firstly, him, it's not, not an admission guys. of anything. Right, it, it, don't characterize it like you've discovered something. No, 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 it's your opinion. No, 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 no. no, I've discovered your opinion, this, Bob. That's what I have discovered is, your opinion. This is what the Christian faith has always taught historically. It has always taught you. Can you just answer one question right. to me? No, hold on one second. Level. You asked me this. to show a, a oh, verse okay. where, where you, you, you challenged no, me to show. You show. You asked me to show a verse in scripture where it talks about fighting. In Surah 9, Ayah 29. Fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day, nor hold the forbidden, which hath been have forbidden heard of by Joshua Allah. His prophet, nor eight. acknowledge the religion of truth. When God so he says, Joshua fight those who believe AI. not. The reason to fight them is because they do not believe 
because they don't believe in what Islam teaches and they don't forbid what Allah has forbidden. Well, like the Bible verse, and Joshua they don't, verse and they don't follow his yeah, prophet, no, no, do you know what nor I mean? acknowledge the religion of truth. Joshua, Even Joshua also means they are salvation. Of the people of the book. All right. Until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. So I have provided guy. you evidence. Now, right. if you accept Bengali yeah, translation, yeah. then why would you reject an English one? I w okay, let me finish to you. You can't go to one little phrase of the Quran and go by it. Can you read the five or six um, sentences before that and the five and six yeah, sentences after that? Absolutely. And read it out to the read it out to the yes, 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 yes. Yes. looking for what? Just because it's not just about it's not just about attacking yes. someone no, 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 for no right. reason. So I'll read it. Uh, I'll read the verse above and the verse below. How about you read the whole Quran to your camera? Well, because that I can would understand. take too long. Guy. And I can't because read Arabic. Because you can't pick up one sentence out of the whole Arabic. thing. So in the Quran, so hold on. on. Do you want me to read the verse and above and the verse below? I don't want, want to. Now you don't want me to. I want to prove a point to you. Okay, yeah. So in the in your in your Bible, does it say about killing? Yeah, Joshua eight. About killing children and so on. Listen, in in the Old Testament, Testament, it talks and about. And the New Testament. Uh, uh, do you, are you going to ask a question, no, 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 and want, do you want, want me to answer? It? I don't want. I don't want to. <laughs> you want want the answer. I'm not going to. Yes. I want to do it in one sentence. Is it yes or no? Can I can do it in one sentence. So, is it in the Bible? I will do it in one sentence. Is it in the Bible? Well, yes, historically, there are accounts where God has commanded nations to be wiped out, man, woman, and child. Okay, so. Just by going, um, I accept it. Oh, that's, right. that's actually now, honest. You, now, let, no, no, let's no, be clear. you can't now. <laughs> no, let's be clear. Where's your Bible, by let's the way? Let's be clear. A Christian let's be that clear. Walks around with a right? We are not obliged to follow. Who is we? This Old Testament teaching, this Old Testament oh, historical why is event. That? It is so not an why? example for so, us today. So why would the people but of that? Is that so verse you, an example to you? No, no. What I'm asking you, what I'm asking you is, if why you're saying the people of that time, they went by it. They were obliged to go by it, right? Yes. So you are you the and the anyway. people of that time different religions? Um, yes, in a way. <laughs> so why are you bringing another religion into Right, it? hold on one second. So, no, let Bro, me... You're let confused, me, man. No, 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 no it's what, not really... No, no, why, why want to make clear? If, hold on a second. I'm not going to let you talk now, but no, you no, have to make right. it clear. If you're not going to let me talk, I'm going to You're going to say bye. I'm going to stop. You're going to say bye and run right. away. No, no, no. So because answer this. No, 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 one second. Make sure you're here. Make sure you're here next Sunday at 12 o'clock. You have made a point. You have made a point. Allow me to address it. Um, I, I misspoke. I need to correct myself. The covenant. <laughs> you can't use the Quran. Yeah, why it? can't I? Why can't I correct? Hold myself? on! Ching, 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 ching. Bob is incorrect. Yes, I've got to correct myself. <laughs> because, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh. So, so in, in Bob, terms of. Bob, uh, ones. Look at you. Look at you. See, I, I, I said sorry. What's my Bible? There's my Bible. No, no, no. Listen, Bob. No, no, no. Bob, as I said, right. no, 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 no. Let I'm me finish my point. Let me finish my point. All right, all right. Let me finish my point. So the Old Testament covenant is not so. Something that we in the new covenant have to no, follow. No, 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 no. There's no Those such covenants thing. are of a singular faith, but yeah. they are two covenants, and that's why I misspoke. That's why. That's more accurately what I should So, have so used. they are one religion. So, one faith. Uh, no, it's not one. They are religion. one faith. No, so, not. the Old Testament but covenant. The Jews do not accept it. In terms so of what oh, God commanded Israel to do, in what com God commanded Israel something to do, like God commanded Israel like to like fight the, uh, the Malachites and to go. wipe them out. That is not no, a, that go. is a historical event. About. It is not a moral instruction yeah. for us today. Now I want you to answer one of my questions because I've answered multiple yeah, 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 of yours. Answer your the ayah that I read out, no, 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 the one about Bible fight the unbeliever, yeah. is that something that you should do? I interpret that in a, in, if someone is waging war on me, I should fight back. Right, right. And Let's be clear. Out, so, so it is a moral so obligation for you. If someone is waging war on me, yeah. I should fight back. Can you show me in that ayah where it says God. if someone? No, if. I told you, I'm not. I'm not going to touch fire. Okay. 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 Believe it. Four, then. You can't I want to speak to this brother. No, no, no. Hold on. You got. You got. I answered you now. You got. I've answered multiple questions. I know, but you got to answer one. One more question. One more question. You can't speak to me. You have your last question. So you, as a Christian, believe that that Christianity is the is the way. Of life, right? No, no, I, no, no, as a Christian, no, believe that the Christian no, faith is the Christian. only way of salvation, you are not right. and so it is the only way of life that will lead a man to God. So, so, so you, as a, as a human being in that in that religion, would believe your religion you're is superior to others, right? Friend. It is the only way of salvation. So it means you you believe you're superior to other religions. What's the meaning? Ah, what's the meaning of question. What's the meaning now of Joshua? Me what's the meaning of Joshua? As Christians, we believe that every man is made in the image of God. So you are made in the image of God. I am made in the image of God. Jesse is made in the image of God, and even my heckler friend here is made in. I'm not made in yeah. the image of God. And we are made in the image of God. I used to be the heckler. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And exactly. now the guy with the Bible right. is heckling so, so, the guy with the so, Quran who claims so to be a let, Christian. Let's, so let's be clear. Confused. So in terms of in terms of the, well, the terms dignity of you that you none. and I have, you it's none. actually got you nothing to do with our faith. 
You don't know what you belief. represent. Your faith does not define your you dignity. You don't know what you represent. So, what defines your dignity is the fact that God has made you in his image. So basically what you're saying... So I am not superior to you no, no, at some so, ontological so no, level. No, no, so what, what you're saying is that you believe... This is your last word and then we're going to yeah, stop. What you believe is that your religion, Christianity, is it's the, the, only is way the of best salvation. truth and is the you're only way of salvation. Yes. Yes. Which means that you believe it's the superior religion and belief. It is the only but, way of salvation. But, but as no, a Christian, you are, ta you are taught to um, respect. accept and respect other people's beliefs. No, as a Christian, we are taught to respect the image of God in every man that we meet. Okay, so my image yeah. is that so I believe I, in... Hold on, I'm going by what you're saying. So yeah. my image is that I believe in Islam, right? Yeah. So you should respect and accept that, right? So what I... No, let, no, let no, me be no, clear. No, what, I respect, right? what I respect is the fact that you are made in the image of God. You're confused, And mate. so that I will... I, I, in in so long far as all circumstances allow, yeah. I would you. seek to treat you with dignity with because dignity. you bear the image of God in you. All right. So, so what no, you're saying so is because I bear the image of God, image of God in me, yes. you are going to give me that respect. Yes. All right. In so far as circumstances because, allow. Because you, you are another, because you are another creator, like you are another creation from yes. the creator. Yes. We to are told, told to respect you regardless of your beliefs. All right. We are told to treat you better than what we would want for ourselves. Yeah. And you more. Apologize, my friend. Yeah. Apologize. Yeah. So we we talk to treat you to, to, to treat you like that. No, no, no. Except put, that's not what the Quran, Quran says. Back. You're not what are you talking about? The put the Quran back. You're not a Muslim. Uh, except that's not what the Quran says. The Quran says. The Quran oh, says. Go. Listen, I'm gonna end the convo, man. It was yeah. nice talking to you, Bob. All right. I've got some other people. All right. The Quran says. The Quran says. Right, fight against the unbeliever until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. Whoa. That Arabic word there, I've checked it, can also accurately be translated as humiliated. Oh, we, we can, yeah. okay. You're a better person than your book, and I salute you for it, sir. Yeah, yeah, we like it. Bob, I want some references next week. I'll give you some. No, no, I'll, next I'll week. get you some about the. the, no. the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Only stick yeah. to the Bible. Yeah. Stick to the Bible. Stay here, stay here, stay here. I'm not on camera. No, we're going to put you on camera. No, I'm not on camera. Yeah, we're putting you on camera. I'm not on camera, but. Why, why, what? What's my issue? Yeah, what's your issue? First of all, I want to know what you represent. What? I want to know what you represent. Christianity. What the hell does that mean? That means a disciple of Christ, one who follows Christ. Or you're seeks a, to follow Christ. You're a disciple of Christ. I seek to be, yes. So what's your issue? Why do you walk around with the Quran? Because a lot of the Muslims here, but well, you don't know them. them. That's like me. That's like me going to to um, the back, the Vatican and saying to the Pope, "Oh, how come you're not doing what you're supposed to do in the Bible?" Bruv, you don't have the right bruv, to go around telling do, people. Do you, what you tell, they do. do you tell Muslims that when they pull out the Bible and use it against Christians? Do I've you? never, I've never spoken to a Muslim that's held the Bible in front of me. Right, you've never. So never how long have you life. been attending the corner? Longer than you. Yeah, and the, how, the, the first time you so came you, you've here, never, the, hang on. The you've never seen, you've never on. seen Lamin. Hang you've on. never seen Lamin hang hold on. a Bible hang against on. A, hang on. A, a Christian. Hang on. I'd like you to address my point, please. I want you to stop walking around with the Quran because you're not a Muslim. I've got a Bible, mate. No, no, What's no. What's your problem? That's a Quran. So, what firstly, it's so? not a Quran. It's a translation. It's not a Quran. Uh, Let's be mate, clear. Your wordplay, it doesn't, it doesn't stick with me. So, so first of all, what do you believe in? What do you believe? Answer my question. What do you believe in? No, no, no. Stop for a minute. Bob, right. I'm not, listen to me. I'm what not do you here believe to be in? dictated by anyone. Not you, Bob. not anybody else. Give me the Bible verse you believe right, in. I believe, I believe in one Romans 10.9. That's what let, I believe. Let, let, let's be clear. And I believe right. that Jesus okay. is the Son of God. Hebrews 1.8. And I don't what disagree do you, with any of it. What do you believe in? So, uh, exactly no, what you just said. No, I want so, to stick to the Bible. I, wanna, I want you to no, answer no, no, my question. No, 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 we're talking about the Bible. One, I want to answer my question. I'm talking about the Bible. You are telling me that you have seriously... I am talking about the Bible. I'm not a Muslim. Do not talk to me about the Quran. Then maybe there's no conversation to be had with you. Because if you think that you're going to sit here just dominate me you're wrong full stop okay Pull I'll ask Bible. you again are you pull telling me are you telling me you have never seen the Muslims <laughs> pull out a Bible and use it against Christians never quote the Bible against Christians you've never seen that blah, you've been here longer blah, than me blah, 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 blah. I'll let his answer speak for himself so like I said pull out you know what's Bible. happened bro you know what's happened is I don't that, know. Is that, is that I you, don't have, know. you have allowed yourself to be I don't manipulated by this environment, I don't that you would criticise a brother Christian rather than support First them of all, I don't in know. fellowship. First of all, I don't know what you represent. Second of all, I don't know what you're talking about. Third of all, the first time I met you, you were talking about Abraham and I corrected you. Right. Is that a tea for me? Thank you. And that's a water for yeah. you. Yeah. So, so, so now listen to me. No, go on. Make if, your you're point. Gonna, if you're going to talk to me, it's going to be about the Bible, not the Quran. 
Right. So, so your your right. your your notion of me being manipulated? Yeah. I've never read the Quran in my life. I don't know and nothing about the Quran. What's your point? My point is, I'm talking to you about what you believe in about yeah. the Bible. What do you believe in about the Bible? Stop saying Christian. Christian okay. Because you could be a Pope, a Methodist. They're all different. Baptist. John I, Whitfield. I, I, the, the, John Whitfield. Charles Spurgeon. They're all different. What do you what, represent? What's your point? My point is, what do you represent? I represent. No, no. I need the Bible verse. Of I need the Bible verse that you represent. Okay. You know, you know it. You know it all. So what's the Bible verse? That Matthew you twenty-eight. What is it? Go out ye into all the nations, teaching blah, them, baptizing. Blah, blah, blah. He's now talking over the, his own scripture. Blah, blah, blah. This is the blah, blah, blah. lack of education. I've, I've already, I've already told this, you. I only, I only believe yeah? in two things: Romans ten nine, Hebrews one eight. So you only believe in two verses of the Bible. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Right. I, I, I am being criticised yeah. by someone who only believes in two yeah. verses of the Bible. Yeah, when you go onto my Facebook, Brother, everything is on there. Brother, you, 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 yeah. are, you have lost your way, man. Yeah. So what church you go to? You've lost. Okay. I used to go to KICC. Yeah. Uh, well, that doesn't surprise me if he goes to KICC and he doesn't know anything about the scripture. Because KICC just teaches a prosperity gospel. They don't disciple people in the way of the Lord. And, and also, uh, I'm part of the Methodist Church in um, Fringe Park. Yeah. Uh, I'm a member. So, Bob, what church are you part of? So, in terms what of... What church are you part of? The Christian Church. What's the name of the church? The Christian Church is only known as the Holy Catholic Apostolic Church. And there's only one of it. And they There's walk no and they, such and thing as and they walk around and they walk around with, with Qurans. There's no such thing as denominations. And they walk around with Qurans. I use it so to be let me just to try and address First that. First of all, what's the name of your Bible that you're using? Okay, so let's just deal with the point about the Quran. Bob, Bob, Bob. Bruv, if you're no, not no, gonna no, listen Bob, to this Bob, answer, Bob, I'm gonna Bob. stop. You you, you better want, stop. Do you better want, stop or because, what? because or listen, what? listen, Bob. Or what? Listen, Bob, 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 listen. Or what? Bob, listen. It seemed like you were threatening me just now. Listen, what? Listen. Stop walking around with a Quran. You're not a Muslim. He doesn't know you anything. Not, well, Muslims, this is a guy that only believes in two verses of the yeah. Bible. Romans He's trying 10, to. 9. You don't that know if you confess with your mouth you the Lord don't Jesus. Know anything about the and believe bro. that God raised you know from what's the dead, happened? You will be saved. Your church Bob. has failed to disciple you properly. I don't want to be a disciple. I just want to be you, a believer. Your church has. I'm not your here. Church I'm, not, I'm not going around. I'm not going around to try and change people. Bob. Yeah, yeah. People can change on their so, own. Bob. So let's let's just look at this verse. In I don't the want to look at nothing with you, Bob. You don't. You don't want to. Nah, no, no. Come back. Carry on. Ca don't walk Bob. away. Bob, carry so on, just, you're, you're, carry you're on walking me. around. Come back. Carry on walking Come around back. and converting the whole world. Come back. I'm alright, Bob. What does it say here? What does Christ say? Why don't you tell All him? authority. Tell him, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a correcting because you'll watch the video later. Anyway. All authority. All the has editing. Been given to all the editing. Everything that you do. On go on my Facebook. Yeah. Everything that I believe go in is on there. And this guy's walking around with. Of Quran. all the nations. Of course, Bob. That's all the nations. Bob, you're you're so gonna you're gonna convert the whole world, Bob. Those that are because because you're the special one, Bob. Bob, you're converts, the special one that's gonna convert the whole people, Bob. Scripture, and this brother is a sad example yeah, of sad. what happens I'm very when sad. the churches fail to yeah, disciple church, someone properly. Church, he the doesn't church. understand it's his shame. faith. It's he only shame. believes in two verses of the Bible yeah, by his own admission, and he thinks himself an authority. I would say that that's not yeah. lukewarm. I would say that's heretical. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bob. Now walk around with your Quran. I'm sorry you're walk so around. angry. Walk I'm around sorry with your you're Quran. so angry. Walk around with your Quran and go through so the whole angry. world, Bob. Because you're the special one, Bob. I'm sorry you're, I'm sorry I'm, you're so I'm, angry. I'm, I'm, I'm lukewarm, so I'm going to go away and mind my own business. I'm sorry you're so angry. I pray yeah, for you. Well, and maybe, sometimes, maybe sometimes it's good to let the anger out, Bob. If Bob, you, if you call, do Bob, you consider yourself a Christian? Bob, do you consider let the anger out sometimes? Do you consider yourself There's a Christian? There's nothing wrong with it. Do I you admit, consider I'm, le yourself I'm letting the anger out, Bob. Do you consider yourself Bob, a Christian? Bob, I'm letting the anger out. I'm asking you. Bob, as, 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 are you Bob, a Christian? I'm letting the anger out. I'm asking you. Since you're a perfect Christian, are you going to shake my hand? In of course I'm going to shake your hand. But Bob, depending on how you answer my Bob, next question, I might shake it differently. Got, you're, the, you're the one that knows it all. Do you I, I consider got yourself a Christian? You, I ain't got no answers for you, Bob. Do you consider Just yourself a Christian? Bob. All right, look after yourself. Mate. Bob, have look a good time. Yourself. And stop yeah. converting people. Yeah. Nah, it's going to be a good cool. no, no, There's, there's going to be no... Nah, no, I want to look bad. Bob, only the only, 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 only the intro. So <laughs> Bob, <laughs> I'm an angry guy, Bob. Only the yeah. intro. Only the intro. And that will be your undoing, bro. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.
Because it's good. It's good. It's good to. You it's good to let anger out sometimes. You because because when you lay it all out, then you can go away and be joyful. Don't you know? And be kind. And, and be kind the to people. The way of a and not walk around with a Quran. And not walk around. Not walk around trying to convert people with your Quran and claiming to be a Christian. Oh really? So so Jesus came. So Jesus came with the Quran. Make disciples of all men. Oh right. And Jesus came with the Quran. Oh right. Jesus came with the Quran. That's oh, right. Said. So who's Joshua book? Yeah. Who's Joshua? Joshua. Yeah, what's, what the name of, what's the meaning of Joshua book? Oh, oh. Can we stop slapping you? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can we stop slapping you? <laughs> Bob, yeah. have a good time. You're a good your guy, Bob. Bitterness has got in your heart. Bob, mate. thanks a lot. Yeah. I, appreciate you need to let go of that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Should we find Alice? Yeah, let's find Alice.